Some people think that life starts again when the kids move out and the dog dies, which also might leave you with a lot more house than you need. It also may leave you with bigger mortgage payments, property taxes, or heating bills that can suffocate your ability to do what you really want to do, like maybe retire. When you decide to downsize your home, that is, buy a smaller, less expensive house, you hopefully have some equity that's accumulated over time in the house you've been living in. And one of the keys to determining what to do with this equity is to assess your financial goals. Now, you may be on the verge of retirement or trying to save every penny so that you can finish up your career. Maybe you want to work forever, and this new house is really just a transition of the place you'll sleep. No matter what your life goals are from here, you will have a lot of financial decisions to make to effectively support them. When you have a big chunk of money coming from the house you're leaving, you'll have a lot of options of what to do with it. One of those options is going to be the amount of the down payment on your new home or if you buy it outright with cash. How you choose to use your cash from the sale and structuring your mortgage will have a huge impact on the rest of your life. Here are some simple steps on making that decision. First of all, make sure you get rid of any bad debt. Pay off your cars, credit cards, installment debts, or anything that is not your mortgage. This will actually lower the amount of outgoing cash you'll have pre-spent on a monthly basis, freeing up more cash flow for you. Then, determine how much money you need to put into your retirement accounts or other investments to reach your financial goals. Most likely, you're about to get a huge tax-free check from selling your home, and you want to be sure that the money is appropriated to the right places. Once you use the money as a down payment, it will be difficult to access again, and in fact, you'll have to reborrow it or sell the house. Lastly, put a timeline on how fast you'd like to pay off your new mortgage on the smaller house, and see if you can find a property and mortgage solution that will really allow you to be mortgage-free before or within a few years of retirement. Other than actually retiring, what you choose to do with your cash from the sale of your home may be one of the biggest financial decisions you'll make for the rest of your life. So don't leave it up to chance. There's more videos on our website that can help you make a good decision. Downsizing and finishing up a career is an incredible achievement, and that's what our team is here to help you do. Downsize and finance your home the right way.